guys, it's Beverly. I got lots to tell you and lots to show you. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about, since it's right here, are these little hearts. These little puffed hearts, and you can stuff them if you want. I'm going to attach the pattern below. We had to make these hearts for the cruise in red, yellow, or green. And it has to do with how you want people to approach you at the cruise. Of course, everybody's supposed to, you know, do precautions and wear a mask and all that good stuff. But if you, they're going to give us lanyards and we're supposed to hang our heart on there. And yellow means um, that you're, you know, going to be stricter on protocols than you would be green for go. And if green for go kind of means that you might have your mask off at different times, not in the classroom, but at different places. And then red. Uh, I didn't make a red one for the cruise because I don't have extra health issues that, um, you know, would cause a problem. But regardless of the cruise, I thought this is a great pattern. I've made four different hearts. I made two in red and gave them as gifts. And I thought that you guys might like this pattern. And Mikey has a tutorial, so this would be great for Valentine's Day. And uh, today is the 6th, so you have a whole week to make as many of these as you would want. So I'm going to attach these, uh, the pattern for this below. The next thing right beside me is some homespun, you guys. Somebody donated some homespun. And we also had some of this pink, of uh, pink yarn. You know, I don't know why people take labels off, but they do. So this pink yarn was donated. So I thought it would be gorgeous to combine the two, which would make the homespun a little bit easier to work with. And what I did <clears throat> was I chained enough to be at least 36 inches and I'm holding the two strands together the homespun and this pink and um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going wonky here or not um, but what I did was I chained whatever many I wanted for the width of my blanket then I did um, in the third stitch from, in the third chain, which would be on this side, I guess, on the third chain, uh, I did a double, cro I did a half double crochet, and then I chained one, skipped one, half double crochet, chain one, skip one, half double crochet, so that was the first row, which makes that kind of the hardest row, and then next time, the next rows, you just uh, half double crochet in the chain one space. And there's, I have two skeins of this um, homespun, which is like a purpley color, and then some pink. So I thought that would make a nice blanket and a way to use up the homespun. I'm using an L hook. If that helps you out. So that's going on with that stuff. Okay, guys, I got my Ogos. Now, these Ogos are the Cameron Coloramas. And these are the only Ogos I've bought. I haven't bought the, um, the Red Heart one, which is a four-ply. This is a number five. And I haven't bought the blanket version of the Ogos. Now this color is called Overboard, and I've been, I've been showing you the patterns as I've gone along here. So let me find this pattern in this bag right next to me. Guess what? It went on the floor. <laughs> Hi guys. What it is when you do a video, half of your brain evaporates, and then everything else falls on the floor. <laughs> 
Okay, there we go, guys. <laughs> so, I bought this Ogo. The color is Overboard. Okay. And it has different shades of blue and kind of an off white or white that has um, little speckles in it. These are going to go sliding. And the pattern I'm going to use for it is the Fair Isle. Karen Knit Go Around Fair Isle Hat. And if you remember or if you watched my uh, tutorial, what you do is you open the Ogo and then you separate it by colors and put the colors in a bag. Each color in a bag. And I think there's five of them. And so then you separate them according to your chart or whatever color you would like to make the hat. If you don't have the overboard one, you can make it whatever color you want. And then you use A through E, and then as you're making the hat, you will have it. Now, the Fair Isle hat, um, Marley Burke did a tutorial on the overboard colorway and the Fair Isle hat. So that's what I'm going to be using as a help out. Then... I made a tutorial for this one, this hat right here. This is Baja. Here's the pattern, and I have a tutorial. So there's enough in each one of these Ogos to make two hats. And in the case of this one, it gives you two recommendations on how to complete your hat. So here's that Ogo. And I, I want to make some more of these. I just love them in the color. So this one is called Knit Hat on the Go. That other one was the Fair Isle. Okay. And then I thought um, that this was really pretty. So this color is Tabby. I like those colors. And this one is called Salt and Peppa. Salt and pepper. Doesn't say pepper, it says pepper. Salt and pepper. And I thought that was real cool. So I went ahead and I bought that. And I'm kind of happy for this bag because when I go on the cruise, I gotta take those 24 squares. Remember, I'm on my 21st square. So I have 10 of them done. I have four to go. And we're going to, we're supposed to take the squares completed, but we're going to join and border the blanket on the cruise. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Then, oh, here's some more Ogo patterns. So, let's see. Um, here's this one. This one's real pretty. This one they used Libby. So, there's a pattern for Libby. And the other one I was going to make is this one here. Now, this one here uses newsprint. And that newsprint colorway is under the red heart. And the lippy is under the Caron. So this one uses number four. And this one uses number five. So I just thought it would be fun to use these. I enjoyed making them, the hats before. So that's what's going to happen to those Ogos. Now, okay, so if you remember, I did the wackadoo make, wacky make a do. Well, this is the hat, and Christy from Crochet Creations by Christy sent me this hat pattern and this yarn, and I posted it on Mad Meanie's Wacky Make a Do for National Carrot Cake Day, which is my favorite carrot cake. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> I had enough yarn left over to make this second hat. This extra yarn is going to be a large pom pom, so that's why I kind of got it on Sally's head. 
Now this pattern here, um, Cinnamon Stitches, featured this hat on her website, on her channel. And she made them, I think, in solid colors, but I just decided to do it like this. Now, look at this join, you guys. It's different. It's a knitted hat. It's different because you do a SSK, which is slip, slip, knit, kind of a thing, and a two together. And instead of having your round um, decrease, it makes a square. And isn't that cool? So we're, I'm going to have my friend make a pom-pom. And uh, then if you take a look at this yarn, look at it. I didn't do anything to this. This is the off-white that came right off of the cake. And look at those pretty speckles. This hat came out so adorable. So it's called the herring bones, the front of it. And then the rest of the hat is knitted. It has a one by one rib. And I just decided to do the colors to get rid of them. And again, I just have this much left to make a pom pom. <laughs> Whoop, on the floor. It went on the floor, you guys. Okay, now here's the pattern for the hat. It's a yarn, yarn inspirations pattern, the herring bone hat. And it has different sizes, okay? So I made the middle one. So they had a 18 inch brim around, a 20 inch brim and a 22. And so I did the 20 inch brim. I followed the pattern exactly like they said. Um, and then I did the crown like they said, it uses a number four, number four yarn, and it uses a size seven, I believe. Yes, a US seven knitting needle. So what I did was I had a pair of size seven, 16 inch um, circular needles, and then when I did the decrease for the crown, I switched to a larger circular size seven and I did the magic loop, I think it's called, you know, with the big, bigger um, cable to finish that hat. And it came out really pretty, you guys. I'm real happy and I'm sure Christy will be happy that I was able to get two hats out of one cake. Okay, my next bag. Okay, I think I showed this to you guys a, a couple days ago. This is called Pride Premier, the Premier Tex Textured Wave Throw, and it's an intermediate. And I mentioned that this pattern is definitely intermediate because they don't detail every stitch that you should skip. So this is how it's coming out so far. Okay. And I'm using the Red Heart, uh, is it Ombre? Yeah, the Red Heart Super Saber Ombre in the gray. You know, that goes from, you know, light to dark and stuff. And so that's how this is coming out. And I'm liking it. It's a fun pattern. But I'm basically letting the work tell me what I'm supposed to do because I mastered the pattern. And again, I haven't, remember I chained too many. And the red marker means I'm using an eye hook because my um, eye hook has a red handle. So I went ahead and I bought another skein of this yarn so that I can make it at least two skeins long. And it's more than 36 inches wide, but not by much. And as you can see, I have my stitch markers, one in each end, so that I 
can keep my edge straight. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I got more stuff over on the bed. So I'm going to put this back in the bag. And we'll see what the next item I have is. Pause. So this is my baby sweater that I'm making with Christy. Crochet Creations by Christy on her live. There's it. It's th this week we're ready for the sleeves. And so we'll be finishing off the sweater. So I'm assuming next week I was late getting to her video. But this past week I finished the edging and added the three little buttons. Three little buttons so you can see them a little better. And so now I have to do the sleeves on that. I think it's really pretty. I, uh, it's the Bernat Baby Sport. And I'm not going to take it out of the bag, you know, because it's one of those schemes that kind of falls apart. But you guys can see it in there. And so I guess we have to do hat and booties next. I was hoping there would be enough to make a blanket. So hopefully there will be so that's my progress on that I wanted you to see it close up I posted it on her Facebook page but I wanted you guys to see it close up and then of course the tote bags with the squares in it so this is square number 21 so I'm going to put it on the floor beside me and look for an H hook because that's what I'm using I know I have one here. It is right here. There's an H hook or a five millimeter. This hook happens to be a Bella Coco. So now it's time to crochet with you because I think I covered everything. Yeah, looks like I did. So that was a lot. So let's see. So I have one, two, three, four, four makes. So I got four whips that I'm working on so yeah I really wanted to go ahead and start that um, blanket with the homespun because I, I came up with that idea and that yarn was at the clubhouse and I wanted to grab it before someone else did of course homespun they're not gonna really <laughs> pick up on but there was two uh skeins at the clubhouse so i thought oh, okay and one of our ladies mary ann i know she doesn't watch my videos but one of my one of the ladies at at crochet organized all the um donated yarn that we have into bags and what those bags are is she kind of um, put it, put it. She she kind of put them in bags with matching colors, so that all you would have to do is grab one of the bags, and you have, you know, a color grouping. And so she had this pink with this purple homespun. And I was going to use off-white with it, but the pink is beautiful, and it's a good way to get rid of the pink. There's some real old off-white there that I don't really know that if it's that it's even usable. But that's what I was going to grab because I thought with homespun, you know, it would dominate that older unsightly yarn. It's hard. To part with it you know when someone has donated it to you but it was really cool because this one bag I picked up had a whole bunch of different teals and purples together and there's this one lady she really likes teal and so I gave it to her in fact she had a shirt on that day that color and see it's all coordinated and you can you know make a blanket with it or you know whatever you want to make but if, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, I'm sure you do, I made that blanket with the R-A-G-G -G yarn, and it was a V-stitch blanket. And what you do is you do a V-stitch, and the next row 
in the V-stitch, you know, so it's real easy. So I taught one lady how to do that, and she's making blankets now and that. She, she takes, you know, spells doing blankets in this kind of stitch, and then she'll do another blanket in another kind of stitch, and it's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Oh, and on the cruise, I told you before, they're going to have these workshops. And this woman, which I haven't, I haven't searched it yet because I'm kind of waiting until the class. But she's going to do a corner to corner from the center. So I'm anxious to see how that works. But I'm not Googling it or anything because I want to wait, you know, and be introduced to it on the cruise. And then another lady is going to do socks, knitted socks. And it'll be fun to see somebody do it actually in person. I mean, I watched it on videos. And she, I showed you guys a sock pattern before in another video. So I'm going to start knitting the sock up to the heel. And that way I'll be prepared. To kind of, you know, learn the heel. So I'm looking forward to that. And then this coming Friday, which would be the 11th, one of the neighborhood's churches is having a inside yard sale. And I'm hoping somebody might have some yarn. That's always a good way to get some yarn. Hopefully. And it's a chance for me to get out with one of my girlfriends. And I have to make sure I wear a mask because I sure don't get, want to get something closer we get to the cruise. So, that's going on. And I've been watching the Olympics. I like the short track skating. I like the luge. Of course, I haven't seen any of that yet. The luge, if you don't know, is where they lay down on this, like, sled. So cool. I think that's luge, but that's the one I like, the one where they lay down on the sled. And I not I like um, bob sled and ice skating. So I've been watching the Olympics. There's no football this week, but next week is the Super Bowl, and I'm hoping that the Rams win because the quarterback Bob's. Is it Bob Stafford? I can't remember his first name. It doesn't matter. Stafford. He used a quarterback in Detroit. And I'm from Michigan. And I would like, and this is his first year with another team. And I just would like him to win a Super Bowl. He's a nice guy. So that would be fun. And. I'm thinking about doing a live so I can talk to you guys as we're crocheting together. I've never done a live, but I thought it might be fun. So if you guys think we should do a live, let me know. Or maybe we should do a live when I get back from the cruise, whatever you guys think. Give me some input on what on a live. I have 900 subscribers, so I'm 100 away from a thousand, but I'm a long way from 4,000 watch hours. <laughs> I have 2,900 and something, so long ways away. Long ways away. So.
Trying to think what we should talk about. <laughs> yeah, because when I have to sit here by myself and crochet, guys, I have to try to think of something to say. You guys are probably tired of hearing about the cruise. Yeah, I think this week I get a, a shipment from Mary Maxim, so that'll be exciting to see the mystery bags that I got. I ordered two, and then I ordered that organizer for my baby yarn. So I can put that up instead of having it all on the floor. Okay. I don't know if I told you this part because I don't think I knew. Um, I remember telling you that the night that we set sail that we have to go to this uh, meeting place and pick up our yarn well they want us just to drop in and they told us to bring some extra tote bags uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to be going by these stations and it's going to be like trick-or-treat only with yarn it's going to be so much fun you guys so when I get back to the room with all my bags of yarn I'm going to take a video so you can see all the yarn that we got so that's gonna be fun okay I gotta look for my scissors so that's gonna be cool so we'll open the bags together and go through and see what kind of yarn I get on the cruise it's gonna be so And they said we were going to get some hooks, but they wanted us to bring some hooks. So. And there's. I got to add the white next. Um. So, I don't know exactly what we're going to get, but it's going to be fun going through it together so we'll do that i'll make a video and then the first day of course will be a day at sea and they'll probably have some kind of class at 10 o'clock that next morning So at least it's at 10 o'clock instead of 8 or 9. Because I like to sleep in. I was late today. I went to Christie's Crochet by Christie's Crochet Creations by Christie. It's live. I was late. Because I overslept. I know 10 o'clock and I overslept. Well, I didn't sleep that good last, last night, so I guess I made up for it this morning. So. So now I have to go there and figure out how she does the sleeves on our baby sweater. You guys probably already know. Because you got up and watched it. <laughs> I did catch it at the tail end. To say hello. So...
Yeah, now I got to pick up stuff off the floor. The yarn for the pom-pom fell off of Sally's head in the floor. And some of the patterns for the ogles fell on the floor. It's just so funny. You try your best. And it just happens. Ow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't usually set at my desk to crochet, so I guess that's why I'm bumping myself. So I've been thinking about my crochet society. See, I only subscribe to it for three months because they had a deal where you got subscribed for three months and you got the fourth month free. So up on my shelf, the reason I'm looking up is I have four Bella Coco boxes. And so I think I'm going to do, I looked at the boxes and the books and stuff when it first came. And I didn't really see any standout patterns that I wanted to make that came in the booklet. But the yarns are just beautiful. So I think that's going to be one of my goals. To... Take a box and make something with the yarn in it. And then maybe I can pass the pretty box on to somebody. I'm so glad that Sue took that 25 drawer box from the Advent for Christmas. And she said if it's good in her craft room and she's already got stuff in it and I'm so glad she took it. And I used up every bit of that yarn. I made three blankets. So, you know, it's good that I used it. So I need to use the yarn that came in these other boxes. Oh, come on. Keep slipping off the hook. Did you guys see um, Eva's new baby? Jean, she is so pretty. That dark hair, it just, she's just so beautiful. <laughs> Ella says she's grumpy. <laughs> I think she said grumpy. I think it's funny. Let me know Ella's gonna be gonna be she is a great mom great mom I just love seeing baby June I'm 
running out of things to say to you guys. I'm trying to rack my brain. Because I don't want to bore you with stuff about the cruise. So I'm just working on my square, you guys. Um, it looks like I looked at the pattern. Unless Mikey has us do a special join. I think you just put right sides together and you single crochet and fasten off. And they want you to do four strips. And then we put the four strips together and then the border. I think I looked at it today and it said it's going to be 37 by 55. So. so that's a nice cover up size. And with the yarn that I have left over. I saw a pattern that looked really cute with these colors on the secret yarnery. I thought she called it the dirty granny, but I'm not sure. I, I saved it in my videos. Okay, so I got to cut this one because I don't carry it. I haven't been carrying it. I've just been cutting it and weaving the ends in. So now it's time for the light blue color. Oh. That is the light blue color. And then I gotta attach it. Let's see, where am I attaching it? I'm attaching it right here. So hopefully you guys aren't bored to death and stop watching the video by now. <laughs> but I just wish you guys were here so I could chat chat with you. Um when when I go to Crochet Club, there's been about eight of us ladies eight or nine and it's just like non-stop chatter and I would just love it you guys Evelyn O and Denise and Susie and oh my goodness I can't even think of all your guys's names and Patty and did you, did you guys ever watch Romper Room and I remember that Romper Room teacher um she had a mirror, a mirror, a mirror, a mirror, depends on how you say it, where you live. And she, I think it was a mirror, mirror, oh gosh, now I'm going to get hate now. Um, and she could look in that mirror and see her friends and she would call out everybody, all the kids names and stuff. And it was so funny. There was a woman that lived next door to me. She was my you know, my neighbor, and she worked in an insurance office, <laughs> and she was so pretty, and she would get so dressed up, you know, this was back in the 60s, because I was born in 1956, and my bedroom window, one of my bedroom windows was on the side next to her driveway, and I would hear her leaving for work before I went to school. And I could hear her high heels out on the concrete driveway going to um, get in her car. And she always had her coffee and her keys and her purse and everything. And she was just so beautiful, all dressed up with the lipstick and high heels, like I said. And she reminded me of the woman on Romper Room. And then... I was, I lived in the Detroit area, 
I grew up 30 miles southwest of Detroit. But anyway, there into the Detroit area, there was they had a morning movie. And it was the woman that hosted it was it was a prize movie or something. And the woman that hosted it, her name was Rita Bell. I remember Rita Bell. And she looked like my neighbor too. She had dark colored hair and she was always dressed up and she had earrings and high heels and all that fancy stuff. And she looked just like my neighbor with the dark hair and all the stuff that I mentioned. And so it was just real fun, you know, growing up with these ladies and stuff. But I really wish that I had that mirror, mirror, however you say it. And I could look at it and I could see you guys and say hi to all you guys. So I'm sending you guys love and hugs. Love you guys.